Hey guys, welcome to this week's video tutorial on our HTML module. The HTML module isn't just about coding. In this video tutorial, we'll show you how to insert a bunch of different media types using the visual editor. We'll walk you through the basics such as tables, videos, links, images, and we'll even have a look at the source code later on. Okay, to get started, we're just gonna go over and edit our example HTML module. Let's quickly full screen this so it's a bit easier to see. This is where our video tutorial will take place and where you can add a bunch of different content types without the need of custom coding. Along the top of the visual editor you can see all our different options. These options are identical to your news module, so anything you learn in this tutorial you can carry directly over to your news and blog posts. Ok, to get started I'm just going to quickly delete our example content. First up, if we head over to the insert drop down we'll quickly show you how to insert and embed videos. Click in the Insert Video button will bring up a new pop up with two tabs, General and Embed. From the General tab you have options to direct link your video, or browse your file manager for any uploaded content. If you prefer a bit more flexibility you can also use the Embed tab to insert your custom embed code. Let's head back to the General tab and quickly pop over to YouTube and snatch a video URL. Pasting this in the Source tab is the easiest way to directly embed videos. Ok, so if we head back over to the video we're going to grab the embed code to show you the other method. You can usually find this on YouTube under share and then embed. If we insert our embed code inside the embed field we should be able to directly embed just like the source option. Our embedded videos will appear like this on the back end, but if we head back over to the front end to give the page a quick refresh, we should be able to see them appearing successfully. Ok, next up and back in the insert drop down menu we're going to show you how to insert an image. Clicking the Insert Image button will bring up a very similar pop up to the video insert. In the Source field, you'll need to add the direct link to your image. Clicking the little folder icon on the right hand side will allow you to browse your engine file space for images. This is a really convenient way to embed without having to upload your image to a third party source. If you want to make changes to an embedded image, just click the image and then head back over to the Insert Image option. From here you can easily edit the source path and the image description, as well as constrain the image proportions if you wish. If you'd like to add a link to your inserted content, this applies to images and text. You just need to highlight the content, go back to the insert drop down and click the insert link button. As long as you have your content highlighted, you should be able to embed a link within the content as well as specify a target window. You also need to add the HTTP prefix to the start of your links, but don't worry too much because if you forget our system will add that for you. Ok, next up we're going to show you how to insert and create a really easy table. From the table drop down on the right just highlight the insert table option, and then just highlight and click when you've reached your desired table size. We should be able to click and drag this table to expand, and then if we head back to table and then click table properties we should be able to make some further edits to the table. From here we can adjust our general table properties such as width, height, cell space and cell padding and even add a border. If we add a value of 1 into the border field we should be able to get a nice simple border. Heading back to table properties with our table clicked and going to the advanced section we should be able to change the border colour and the background colour of our table. In the table drop down there's also options to edit the individual cells, rows and columns. You can easily copy, merge, split, insert and delete items. You can add different content to your table cells and format as you usually would. And finally, if you'd prefer to add more custom content, or maybe you'd like to tweak your already added content, you can make use of the source code option under the tools drop down. This will basically show the source code for the page where you can add or edit content directly. If we paste in some simple image insert code as an example, we should be able to embed directly from the source code window. And there you have it. If you don't like your drop downs and to speed things up, you can also find most of these insert functions on the second toolbar. And lastly, to avoid going through third party hosting services, make sure you make use of our file manager features so you can embed directly from your file space. And that's that. We hope you've enjoyed this quick video overview covering some of the basic functions of our HTML modules visual editor. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or submit a support form, all links included in the video description.